Hello adventurers, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK and if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us and if you are a returning viewer, I'm so glad you've come back. So the first thing I'd like to do is wish you a very happy Lamas. If you are a pagan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you aren't, then I will explain. Lamas is the first harvest festival in the pagan wheel of the year. Um, we have three harvest festivals. This is the grain harvest festival, where we celebrate all things wheat, which means we're gonna be eating a lot of gluten between today and tomorrow. Um, I have included some information about Lamas below if you are curious, but for now, let's do our Lamas prep. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to prepare for lamas is bake some bread. And I'm not going to do it in a ye olde fashion -y kind of way. I'm using my bread maker. This going to select it. Oh, select like that, you go. Oh, this is an obnoxious beeping, isn't it? Right, so then we're just going to press start, and that will take about three hours. It should mean that um, my plan then is that I will put another loaf on when I go to bed on a delay, so then it's ready first thing in the morning, which will be lovely. So, start. There we go. I'm just going to bring you in. And you can, you might be able to see. There you go. So I haven't used this for a while, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. But that is number one. So the next thing that we need to do after we have started bread making is prepare any food that needs to be prepared for tomorrow. Now, earlier, I made our pudding. For today, I made it with Bessie's help, and we have recorded it for our Adventure Kids Club channel. You won't see it on there for a little while, um, but I will give you a sneak peek of what it looks like. Dun, dun, dun. And here it is. So if you would like to know how to make this Lamas Berry Pie, it's very simple. And as you will see, I hope you will check out the video when it comes up of Bessie making it. She made it all by herself. I weighed out the ingredients for her because she wasn't very confident about it, but everything else she did. I was behind the camera going, remember the next bit's this, um, and that was it. She did everything by herself. Um, I think I helped with a little bit of rolling as well just to give it a bit of welly. Um, but yeah, and I put it in the oven, but everything else was all her, so she's very excited. We did make a mini version, um, so we could taste it beforehand because she was not going to be able to wait until tomorrow. And it was really, really yummy. And Phil and the boys had some as well. It was really good. We all really enjoyed it. So that's the pudding I've made. Our dinner tomorrow, um, we tend to have pretty much the same things every Sabbat. Like there's a one or two few different um, meals that we choose from. Um, so that's concluding the Lamas prep video. Um, so we're not done, we're not done quite yet, but I'm gonna show you some footage of me preparing the altar, but the moment that you've all been waiting for, we had amazing amount of entries into our competition that we launched last week. And I know I was a bit late announcing the winner because of my darling horse, but I'm so, so excited to share the winner with you. Drum roll. The winner is Scout Langley. Scout, you have an amazing name. I love your name. Congratulations, you are our winner of a 15 pounds or the equivalent of, in your currency, Amazon gift card. I will be in touch. I will find out what country you're in. That sounds a bit stalkery, it didn't mean to. And I will send you your gift card. I will be so excited to hear what you get. Um, if you want to sell me, but I'm so so glad you all entered. So I'm gonna leave you here now. You can check it, you can watch the footage at the end of this of me setting up the altar. And don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you liked hearing about Lamas, and I'm really excited to share tomorrow with you. Happy Lamas!
as a sit down for our Lamas feast. We have spent a lot of time this morning preparing the altar and then we are going to go for a very nice but short walk because I've hurt my hip um, to do one of our very special rituals. So I will see you in a bit once we've eaten. Albert, Albert, to the bridge. Oh, but here we go, look, we can go this side. And then Lily doesn't have to go over the bridge. Daddy put some in. Yeah, Daddy, your turn. She broke it. Sorry. Albert, have you done some? Daddy, put some in. I'm going to go on those rocks. I'm going to go on those rocks. I'll be right back. Not that you're going to go on them. Ooh. The wind's blowing them away. No, no, not you, Bubba. Not you. That's too big for you. No, you cannot. Yeah, I don't think you're going to jump the whole thing, Bubba. So, what are you doing? Touch the touch. Right, this. Not fighting. This could be a you've been framed moment. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, jump. Two, three, jump. <laughs> one, that is right though, it does go three. one, two, three, four. <laughs> right, no more now, now you gotta help daddy over. You pick my foot, I'm gonna fall in there. Lily, no. Come on, please. That's not jumping. That's jumping. Daddy, help. Jump. 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 called Emma, she's homeschooling Mum of Three in the UK and today it's Lamas! And uh, what are we going to do now guys? We're going to feed the horses. horses. <laughs> Come on then. And then we're going to eat pie! Go on then, go! Lamas pie! When they see this, it won't have gone up yet. You will see that. You made it all by yourself, didn't you? I made it all by myself, and my mum helped me. And we made a mini one, and we ate it, and it was delicious. And that's one we did. We have to find something to do with it. Maybe, Maybe we can make a um, um, tiny cup with some ice and cream. Maybe. Maybe. Hello guys, we, I've been asked on Instagram and Facebook repeatedly recently for horse riding videos or horse videos, um, what it's like to have ponies um, and small feral children, um, so I thought I would bring you along, it's Lamas today, I'm videoing anyway so I thought I'd bring you along while we are visiting the ponies, um, obviously as you know, hello Albert, as you know, we lost Obi recently, so there's only one in our care, usually, but um, we're also looking after the other one who shares with us today. Um, so 
we're going to be feeding both of them and doing things for both of them. We would be riding today, but I am not in the mood. So I'm just going to do some fun things with them anyway. So let's go. This is Lola. <laughs> She's a 13 year old, 12 two hand Exmoor mare. She's my riding pony who has no concept of personal space. Also likes a hug and a butt scratch. She's in season, so a good butt scratch. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Should we make your dinner? This is our very messy and very small feed shed. And I'm just going to make up her feeds. I have her have a whiteboard here. You can just about to see what she has each day. Um, she just has a little bit of hard feed. It's not a lot of calories or really anything. Um, just to put some supplements in. So do a mug of this. This is Spiller's Speedy Mash. Um, she has a bit of trouble with something called diastema occasionally which is a gap in the teeth and um, so I give her a mash so she doesn't really have to chew make a lot of effort chewing and that needs to be mixed with water kind of get to know how much water it needs to be as long as Everything is kind of covered, look. It's enough. <laughs> there we go. So, smell of vision right now. It's my brunch walked into a restaurant. Excuse me! May I help you? It's very impatient. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so yeah, she gets really stressed out with these crab flies. Back off. Back up. Back up. Back. Go on. Go on. Go on. Back. Back. She knows she's going to be on YouTube. She wants to be. Wants to be on camera.
So, this is all at liberty, as you can see, she's just walking away. If she wants to walk away and stop at any point, then she can. She's not got her head collar on, I'm not going to force her to do anything, but I try and keep everything to her as natural as possible. I think we'll leave it there. <laughs> I'll sprinkle the rest of the leaf on the floor. She's just nudging it out of the way now. So we're going to leave that there. She really, really wants to finish those treats up and I'm going to get her fed. There's not really much to a day-to-day -day looking after them, to be honest. It's feeding them, riding them, training them, and, you know, it's it's, low, it's really, really low-key. We don't really do very much, um, especially this time, of, this time of her cycle. She really doesn't want to do anything at all, and to be fair, I'm with her on that one. So, um, thanks so much for being us being with her. I will see you later.